Hello, welcome to this video. Here I'd like to talk about how to prepare a waterfall chart along with a stat bar within a PPT. So you, all of you must have created these charts at some point of time in your projects. So here I'm trying to give a breakdown of monthly income and expenses of a, an average person, let's say, whose salary is 75,000. And uh, on top of this, if we are trying to see if we're getting any additional income, expenses, and finally, towards the end of the month, how much is this net balance? So these waterfall chart templates are already available within MS PowerPoint. If you go to insert in the chart menu, so here you have multiple options out of which waterfall is one of the options. Uh, right now, I'm using a uh, add-in which is called as things set. So here also you have a waterfall component. But the thing is uh, we don't have a combination of waterfall and also uh, stat bar directly. But there is a quick way to do this within uh, the things that add. So the way that I would like to do is for example if somebody wants to understand okay there is uh, EMI of 15,000 so what what are the different components of this EMI? Right. Or otherwise, somebody wants to understand, okay, I'm making investments of 21,000. So what are the different components of my investment, right? Wouldn't it be a good way if somebody prepares a chart like this instead of just showing the overall totals, right? So if I look at this, uh, out of 15,000 of the EMIs, so one of my major EMIs is 12,000, right? So if this is a bigger topic for somebody, they can explore and what is my EMI, right? So now let's try to understand how to make this. I'm just quickly adding a new slide. And uh, let's go to Tinksel and insert the waterfall chart. Yeah. Right now we have two labels and uh, quickly, I'll just uh, add in here component one, component two, and this is total let's say okay let's say component one is some hundred component two is two hundred then we have the total there okay so this way we got the waterfall now let's say if i want to split this 200 into different components so i can just quickly add them here like let's say 125 then 75 right so this kind of breaks this particular uh, component two into two different sub components kind of stacks it one over the other so this is a simple technique that we can use to prepare uh, both waterfall and the stack bar together so that you can break down each and every waterfall component thank you for watching the video uh, let me know if you want me to make similar videos in the comment section